Kobe Jones signed to play football in, in today's show, we take a look at Kobe signing, find out more information about the softball team, and we caught up with Mrs. Varner about prom. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Ryan. And I'm Lauren, and here's your daily news. If you plan on bringing an outside date or underclassman to prom, you'll need to fill out the outside date form. We, we caught up with Mrs. Varner to get more information. Hi Vikes, I'm here with Mrs. That Varner, and really she's here to weird. talk to us about the prom outside date forms. So who needs the prom outside date forms? Anybody who is going to prom um, with one of our junior or seniors, which means if you are a junior or senior taking a freshman or a sophomore, you are considered an outside date and still need to submit a pink outside date form for me. Oh, where can you find the forms? Uh, both forms for either outside dates or the Seaman High School freshman or sophomore dates are located in the front office, can be picked up by myself or Mrs. Naylor in the freshman center. Awesome. And when are they due? All forms are due back by end of day on Tuesday, April the 9th. Thank you, Mrs. Varner. Now back to your anchors. They are due back by April 9th. Pick up a form in the front office. Any student interested in being a Spirit Club officer next year, you need to pick up a form from Mrs. Geisen Room N14. Applications are due April 10th. If you would like to speak at your graduation, now is the time to sign up. You need to submit your speech to Mrs. Welch by Monday, April 15th. Congratulations to the forensics team that participated in the Student Congress National Qualifier at Topeka High over the weekend. If you're interested in going to Spain in June 2020, there is a meeting on Thursday, April 4th at 5.30 p.m. in W20. Bring a parent. This trip is open to current freshmen through seniors. If you like to draw, plan to join like-minded artists at this Thursday, April 4th in room 901 from 6 to 7.30. Let's go over to Ryan to see who most recently signed. Bailiff, take the witness into custody where she will be charged for the murder of Hayworth Wyndham. In the matter of the state versus Brooke Wyndham, this case is dismissed. Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go. Everyone's seen Legally Blonde the movie, but now you can see it live at your Seaman High School theater. The theater department has been working hard to get the musical ready. Legally Blonde the musical will be playing at 7 p.m. from March 28th to March 30th. Tickets will be sold at the doors and lunch for $8. Somewhat of a song expert and host of the world-famous Guess the Song, Ethan Guzman has hidden small rectangular shaped pieces of cardboard around the school. If you are one of the lucky contestants that returns one of these cards to him, you can be in the next Guess the Song. So start hunting. Mason and Jason are twin brothers. They are not similar according to others. They obtain jobs at the bank, but who will rank and who will draw a blank? When coming to soft skills, Mason knew just what to do. Unfortunately, Jason had no clue. Working hard every day to stay ahead, while Jason would rather lay in bed. Mason arrived to work in a timely manner, but Jason was not a very good planner. In life and work, you will succeed making soft skills something you need. If soft skills are what you want to explore, go to mysoftskills.org to learn more. We caught up with the softball team to learn more about their season. The Lady Bikes softball team has been working hard for this upcoming season. We talked to some of the coaching staff and students to find out a little bit more. Uh, last year we had a pretty good team. We qualified for the state tournament and finished fourth at state. Some of my goals are to become a better hitter and uh, quicker with my touch time on the field. As an athlete, I always want to work well with my team and just give 100% at all time. I think our team has really bonded over the couple weeks of practice, so I think it'll be a really fun time, especially, and hopefully win some games. Well, we haven't been outside a whole lot. It's been really like raining and cold, so we just got outside over spring break for the first time, and the dirt <laughs> on the fields have been pretty bad, so we haven't really been able to slide a lot, but um, we've been just doing our main drills. 
Uh, this year, just looking forward to building a new team and getting to know all the kids and seeing how we can come together and continue to build on the success that we've had in the last few years. I, I think we have a lot of good girls and some really influential upperclassmen. I'm looking forward to um, the younger players coming up and helping out and I think we'll do well as a team even though we're young. So. Uh, our goal this year is just to develop the kids uh, to the best that we can and not just as softball players but as people also and, and build from there and if we take care of those things then hopefully we'll have success on the scoreboard as well. The Lady Vikes slid into a victory at the first game against Perry LeCompton. We wish them the best of luck this season. The softball apparel link has been reopened until March 31st. Join us for Spirit Night next Tuesday, April 2nd during the Lady Vikes soccer games. There will be free pizza and drawings for free nachos. JV game is at 4.30 and varsity at 6. Those interested in trying out for auxiliary, there is a clinic Saturday, April 27th from 9 to 12 p.m. and tryouts start at 1. Girls swim tied for second yesterday in the Topeka High Meet. Great job, Lady Vikes. Tennis got first in first singles and first doubles. Great job, Vikes. Kobe Jones recently signed to Mid-American Nazarene. Let's learn more about his signing day. Senior Kobe Jones signed to play football at Mid-American Nazarene on the 22nd of this month. He's played football for six years and is excited to continue his career at a higher skill level. His mom and stepdad were at his signing and are very proud. He's just a good kid overall, you know, and, and he really, really, really loves football. So, you know, just that alone, I'm, I'm just proud of him. I love watching him play, you know, when he's on the field, um, the excitement, you know, that he has, um, the, to see him grow from the first time that, you know, he started football to now the, the process has been great. Coach O'Neill has coached Kobe for three years and is looking forward to watching him grow through his college experience. Not Kobe. I think he's put in a lot of hard work. He, you know, he's had a, his own personal trainer, so he's gone before school. You know, got his workout. You know, during the school day. You know, he, he comes to our morning, you know, workouts during during the winter months. You know, during the summer. You know, he was always out there throwing and lifting. You know, working hard. And you know, so I think you know those things are going to pay off for him. Many of Kobe's teammates joined him at the signing and shared some of their favorite aspects of playing with him. I'd say the Junkin City game where you yeah. guys helmet torn off and kept on running for the touchdown even though it didn't count. Yeah, it's probably my favorite memory of Kobe. But I think he'll get a pretty good opportunity early in his career. I think he's happy where he's at, so I'm pretty excited for him. I think it'll give him a good chance to improve on his game. Congratulations, Kobe, on signing. Your coaches and teammates will miss you. Congrats, Kobe. We wish you the best of luck. Due to wet playing conditions and fields, today's following Seaman High School sporting events have been rescheduled. Varsity and JV Baseball versus Emporia has been rescheduled for Tuesday, April 9th. Varsity and JV Softball at Emporia has been rescheduled for Monday, April 1st. Varsity and JV Soccer versus Lawrence is still a go for today unless lightning is predicted for our area. A final decision will be made at 1 o'clock today. The game has already been moved over to the stadium turf field. Now, over to Josh to see if there will actually be flakes this weekend. Happy Friday to you. Today, more rain is on the way. And then tomorrow, we do introduce a snow chance. It's looking more and more likely that there will be snow across the area tomorrow morning. So let's break this down for you today. A severe weather risk is in play, mainly for areas near and southeast of the Kansas Turnpike. Not expecting significant severe weather, but hail and wind again possibilities today. Let's time it out for you with our future radar by 3 p.m. again. So that scattering of showers and thunderstorms as we head later into the evening, there should be less thunder and lightning and more just plain old rain. Here's the picture at 7 p.m. You can see still scattered to widespread rain across the area and those will continue to eventually taper off by the time we get into the wee morning hours before another round of precipitation moves in for tomorrow morning likely in the form of snow it's going to be a very wet snow we're not expecting any accumulation with this but a snowy start to your saturday is expected for tomorrow they could even be our last flakes of the season just the chance that that could be the case. Now, 
Also on Saturday, we get much, much colder. Check out these wind chills stuck in the 30s all day long. So if you have outdoor plans for Saturday, even though the second half of the day is looking dry, it's going to be cold. So bundle up for the first half of your weekend. And checking out the seven day forecast, you can see that sun, Sunday re re brings the return of sunshine and 60s already back in the forecast by next Tuesday. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Next week, we have a story about the China trip, and make sure to come hug us on Wednesday for National Hug a Newsperson Day. Make sure you come out and support the theater department this weekend with shows today and Saturday starting at 7 p.m. Have a great rest of your day.